Are you making? Whole wheat sandwich rolls. I am sick of going to the store and not being able to get whole wheat organic hot dog for not real hot dog rolls. I've had enough, so I'm just gonna make some and put them in the freezer. So, why would you use one bread maker? You can use two. Well, because you're gonna get twice as many. No way. It's fine. Have you like? <clears throat> have you added that up or? I have a calculator. You didn't. You didn't, you didn't Google it or anything. You well, did it yourself. I asked Siri. Yeah. She told me to ask Google, and I just but forget it, and I got a calculator yeah, out. And you didn't go to like Yahoo Questions or something. I feel like Yahoo is more like an amusement park, so I don't, uh, I don't do the Yahoo. Yahoo questions. I don't know what that is, Craig. Wow, you're really missing out. I have to show you some pretty great Yahoo questions later on. What? Can you tell me a little? No, bit? I can't. You what? just have to experience Yahoo questions. What if I'm busy? No. Is it dumb questions that people ask? And then you I'm laugh not at spoiling them? anything for and you. you. Laugh at them? Is that what it is? It sounds like that's what it is. I swallowed an ice cube hole and have pooped it out. <laughs> okay, anyways, one and a quarter cups of warm water, one tablespoon of molasses. Of what? Molasses. Hmm. Make Happy. sure you measure that molasses very carefully. Yeah, it looks like you are. I are. See, I was a little bit off. One more drip. Yep. One metric drip. Yep. Three tablespoons of applesauce. So this is basically a fat-free recipe. There's no oil in here. One, two, three. Okay, that's all my liquids. Cleaning as you go. Yep. I hope everybody loves my beautiful, immaculate test kitchen mm -hmm. because I am a professional YouTube cookerer. Yeah. Oh, that's actually the vegan zombies. Um, I know. His Sorry. Thing he left here. Sorry, Mr. Chris, vegan. Chris, if you're watching, <laughs> next time we make a video, remind me to give you this back. <laughs> or you can just come here if you yeah, like. Yeah. Yeah. Steal the utensil of your choice. Yeah, you can but just not come my get bread maker. You know where we live. Be careful of the zombies, though. Yeah. Okay, next some flour. I actually took that uh, measurer to uh, Maryland with me. Oh, yeah. So I could measure <laughs> my apple cider vinegar. That yeah, I it's have. nice because you have two measurizers on it. So two. if you want to measure something smaller, you can. That must be why Mr. Vegan carries it with him. Yeah. Because there's nothing worse than trying to fight off zombies and cook and you have to carry two measuring spoons. Oh, I know. Not worth it. It's the worst. Want to cover up your liquids. You're trying to just like cover all the liquid? Yep. So why do you do that? Because I think you're supposed to. Oh, does... Did you ask Siri or... Did you calculate it? Uh, I got it. I might have to take that. Is that Leah? I'm actually expecting a phone call from Kelly. Oh, but that's not her, so let's see. Is that a fake number? Yep. There. <laughs> Somebody's been blowing up my phone about a car being moved from Florida. And hmm. I like those people who are like, oh, you recently stayed at one of our, one of our resorts, oh, and you're like, oh, that's funny. I don't go to resorts. Yeah. For the first time ever, it could be true. I went yeah, to when you went to Maryland. <laughs> but they didn't call me. No. Yeah, I don't think I've ever... I, don't think I've ever, I mean, I've been to a hotel before. Does that count as a, as a resort? I don't think so. I think... What is a resort? Well, it's usually got lots of other amenities, um, tennis courts, swimming pools, like so much stuff so that you don't really have to leave the premises if oh. you want to. I've never been to that. I just, I think last time I was in a hotel, we went to Boston for a track meet. Actually, I'm pretty sure all of the times I've been in the hotel have been to go to track or cross country meets. <laughs> Although, no, yeah, I was gonna say when I went to go see Pete race jet skis, but then we stayed in his RV though. 
so. Hotel Firstler. Yeah, Firstler Hotel. <laughs> so what's this over here? Gluten. Gluten. So the rolls will rise up nice and fluffy. You don't put, add gluten to your whole wheat stuff. <laughs> It'll be like a rock. So how many tablespoons or teaspoons? Two tablespoons. Two tablespoons. Plus make sure you sprinkle a little bit on the counter for yeah. authenticity. Mm -hmm. So what was happening before you guys uh, used the gluten and how did you guys find out about using gluten? In um, your dad kept case? attempting to make whole wheat bread. Oh, right, um, and that's salt you're adding right now? Yes, sir. Mom, um, come on, you gotta keep telling me what you're doing. Well, it would, why don't you just take a picture of this here recipe? I could, I yeah. will, hopefully, yes, if I remember. I suggest you do Maybe. It pretty simple. But your dad was following a recipe, and it kept coming out like a rock, so I was like, you know, I think I'm going to read that, the book that came with the bread machine. And it said, add two tablespoons of gluten, and your, your stuff will come out nice and fluffy. So I did it, and lo and behold, I mean, because gluten isn't something people have laying around, so I've always yeah. been one of those people who's kind of reluctant to go get a special ingredient. Yeah. I think it's going to be obscure and weird, but it's like, turns out, we can go through a lot of gluten in this year. house. Yeah. Between making um, vegan sausage and uh, bread, I could keep the gluten people in business for years to and come. And this is the the yeast that you just put in um, yep. there. And this is just Hots uh, and mills. specifically it's for. Come on, focus. What the heck? There we go. Now it's all shiny. Yeah, Hodgson Mills active dry yeast. Specifically for whole grains. Okay, that's everything. I'm gonna put it into my bread maker on the dough cycle. This could take about 90 minutes. These rolls take from start to finish after they've. Is it true that the hardest part of making bread is fitting it in the yeah. bread machine? Yeah. Because first of all, you gotta read the front. Which one says front? Which one's I think that, does that say front? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> there's my problem. <laughs> there you go. No, there you go. There I go. There you go. Okay, that's bread maker number one. Okay. I so put my that. glasses on. <laughs> Your day will come, son, yeah. and I hope to be around for it, <laughs> and I'm going to taunt the heck out of you. How many bread makers do we have? Um, I think two. There might be a third one in the back hall, but it might just be two. So here in my kitchen. <laughs> Fun to make bread with the bread makers. Yeah. You know what I like even more than bread makers, though? Bread? Yeah, I guess. I don't know. We didn't really prepare that, so no, I didn't know. Did I didn't really know where we were going with it. Off the cuff. Yeah. So the the timer went off, so I figure I meant to get this stuff out and form That's it. That's how it works, I guess, right? Form it into bread shaped. The stuff. second hardest part about this is getting it out of the bread. Maker. Right. The first hardest part was getting it in there. Yeah. And the third hardest part is scooping all that stuff that didn't come out. Yeah, that's not so bad. That's <laughs> yeah. not so bad. Well, that's why it's the third hardest. True. So you just cover your hands in flour and scoop her out. Scoop it silly. Hmm. Now, when I use this to make burger rolls, no, I didn't say hamburger rolls. When I use it to make veggie burger rolls, um, I think the recipe calls for making eight. Yeah. Eight's a little too skimpy, so I make seven. No way. Way. Just bigger ones? Yeah, tiny bit bigger. One seventh bigger, or something. So I'm sure somebody will check my math and let me know. Yeah. Where I went wrong. Maybe you can Google that. I don't think I could. Yahoo question. I don't that. even really know how to spell Google. <laughs> G A no no that's gaggle that's something to do with geese. I don't know Craig I just don't know. Okay and I'm going to actually get a dough cutter and I'm going to use it to cut dough. Not candy. Right. Usually this is for candy porpoises. Today... Have you guys ever made candy porpoises? Can, um, I used to have dolphins. Actually, oh, that's the same thing. For Lemoyne. Yeah? Lemoyne ordered them, yeah. Oh, yeah. But, you know, then they never ordered them again, so I think I got rid of them in the great uh, mold. The mold purge of 2017? No, earlier. <laughs> I've, I've purged molds before. Yeah. Before that, even. You know, maybe it wasn't for Lemoyne. It was for... Another dolphin loving. Lee Moyne. Is there another dolphin school around here? It wasn't a dolphin school. I think it might have been for some oh, high school kids. Some Who just really like dolphins? No, it was a fundraiser. I think they were reselling them. Two, four. So look at that. I cut that into seven pieces just by eyeballing it. Wow. Wow. 
I am so impressed with me today. Wow. And you know one thing, you know what I like even better than two bread makers? Being humble. Yes, how did you know I was gonna say that? I am your son. Yeah, I guess. Allegedly. No, Craig, there is new tonight. <laughs> You're mine. Suck it up, buttercup. Okay, is that, that's bun shaped, right? Yeah. I mean, my buns look a little different than that. Yeah, but. they sure do, Craig. They sure do. <laughs> They're a little bit older, too. You got a crack running right down the middle. cracked buns. <laughs> my butt's broken. I got a crack in it. <laughs> oh, boy. <sighs> he had an earthquake. Potty talk. <laughs> Did you think that I was going to be talking potty talk when I would became an alleged adult? Oh, I thought you'd continue with the potty talk. You know that I have six brothers and sisters, right? Yeah. Well, when we get around one another, things can deteriorate. It's nothing too. but potty talking. Sometimes we talk about our kids brushing their teeth. Oh yeah, do you have a funny story about that? Uh, Mike's kids? He tells it better than me. If mm. I tell it, it's just kind of... Do you really think he's ever going to tell a toothbrush story on this channel? We'll forget about it the next time we have a family party. Well, Craig, you're going to have him for open house, so that's your chance. You're going to yeah. have him all day long. Well, At your just, mercy. You guys will have to remind us eventually to tell the toothbrush story. Uncle Mike's toothbrush story. It's kind of funny. It's kind of funny. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't get your hopes up for months on end. It's not because a, yeah, it's not it's, that. It's it'll give you a good little chuckle though. It's our relatives. It's it's my yeah. niece and Craig's cousin, so that's why we find it funny because this young we know lady in question is a pistol. Whoa! And the brother I'm talking about, he's a pistol. And you know what they say I mean, about paybacks? They get you in the end. Mm -hmm. That's what they say about paybacks. Yeah. Well. My brother's smart alecky ways caught up with him for the birth of his second child. She's the most smart alecky? Yeah, she, I think she actually teaches smart aleck classes on the side. Yeah, how old is she? I'm gonna say 10. Starting them young. Because they're all two years apart, so 10 yeah. sounds good. I think she's going into seventh, no, to be sixth grade. I don't know. Sixth grade is usually, I think, 11 or 12. There's so many cousins, it's hard for me to keep track of Ouch. how old people are. I, does that make me a bad cousin? Kind of. Uh, do they know how old you are? That's what probably I go not. by, is reciprocation. If they if they know how old you are, you don't know how old they are. Then I'd probably right. tell them how old I, I am, they'd be like, why aren't you, <laughs> how? Why aren't you in a nursing home? Yeah. <laughs> are you sure you're my cousin? Cousins can't be that old. Right. Well, you did all walk to the lake the other day. Cause yeah, like my, those, my those knees and back didn't give out. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have to stop and rest. <laughs> this is parchment paper, by the way, putting this on. I don't know why it calls for that. I'm not sure what would happen if I uh, did it without parchment paper. Make sure you put it on a pan, too, not just the paper. Oh, Craig, that is very specific of you. And put it on a chair. Yes. But when you try to cook it, put it in the oven. No, I'm Probably gonna... won't cook very well in the chair. You don't Unless know that. your chair is in an oven, in which case your chair might burn. So, so you got bigger problems to worry about. The more you know. Mom, do you have any advice for when you put them in the oven? Don't touch the oven racks because they're hot. Mm -hmm. Oh, they do have the oven on. Mm -hmm. 375 if you can. Yeah, if your oven allows. Yeah. Is that uh, Fahrenheit, Kelvin? Callahan. Ready? You should use these pan holders. Das buns. <laughs> now, I know I originally told you I wasn't making anything to go with them. Mm -hmm. But then I thought, nice. well, it wouldn't kill me. I'd throw some tofurkey in my red little griddle there. Mm -hmm. And I also thought, ah, well, well, I might as well do some peppers and onions. That won't kill me. Ah, well, I might as well do some Brussels sprouts. That won't kill me. And might as well do some peas. Oh, I do love peas. That won't kill me. Mm, probably not. So I inadvertently made dinner. I Thanks. didn't mean to, though. It just happened. Dad, yours is almost gone. Mm-hmm. Is it any good? Mm-hmm. Is that mm-hmm? Mm-hmm. Mm. That's really good. So I should have some? Oh, you probably won't like it. Yeah. That's what I figured. Yeah, I should probably leave it for you, huh? Yeah. 
It's mm. for the best. Yeah. Yeah. Well, these are uh, not nearly the shape of uh, the tofurkey sauces that Mom accidentally made. So I have uh, cut it in half. I just have it on this one. It's kind of like a hamburger, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Man of many words. Mm. Just for you, Max. Now I feel special. Yeah. Oh, that one wasn't already cut? No. Nope. Oh, I thought the ones over there, a lot of them were nope. already cut. Now I see how much you care. Yeah. Maybe I cut my own buns. Mine was really good. I'm sure yours will be too. <laughs> What's it smell like? Bread. <laughs> <laughs> it smells you just like so the smell of bread? Oh, dude, I baked for a year. <laughs> for a year? Maybe would a define <laughs> bake. <laughs> I baked for Panera for a year. Uh, all right. You knew that. Yeah. So what do you recommend? One of Should those. Should I break it in half or something? Or? Yeah, that's what I did. I just, I broke them in half and I put two of them in. Kind of like how we did when we went camping. <laughs> <laughs> Who was the other one? I, I thought it was just me and you. What? You might get it when you're playing. Oh, yeah. Food. I think I got it. Okay. Yeah. You're usually um, pretty quick on the update. Yeah. So. I just wasn't sure exactly what you meant. Um, but, yeah, it was, uh, you know, how we did with the uh, the hot dogs and the hamburger buns? Yeah. <laughs> and the pickles. If, uh, and the ketchup. If you uh, know what I mean. Corn, <laughs> corn. <laughs> yeah. There's, we have other barbecue sauce. We finished off this one. Um, I, was, I was just going to eat it like this. Oh, okay. I mean, should I put sauce on? Whatever you want to put. You want ketchup? We, we got ketchup. Good. You got relish? We want. We got relish. I really. You, you want Brussels sprouts? We got Brussels sprouts. Yeah, peas. Yeah. Whew. Man, I saw everything. <laughs> yeah. Well, really, after smelling the sausages last time, I really just want to like really taste that because. Mm -hmm. And the bread. Yeah, they smell so good like already. And homemade bread is like the best thing on the planet. So. Yeah, and you're like our my best uh, food reviewing friend. <laughs> like you could be on like the Food Network. I'm just gonna whereas, I'm, like, whereas I'm, whereas I'm like, good. wow, it's pretty good. Mmm, <laughs> tasty. And uh, you can really taste the breadness in it. Mm. All right, bite it. Smelling it is the best part. Bite it. It's all about the journey, dude. Not the I destination. can't. How long am I gonna make this video? <laughs> Longer than four minutes. Speechless. Mom knows what she's doing, man. That's all right. Describe the bun like you are on the Food Network. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the bun. All right, I gotta focus on the bun. Yeah, bite one more. One more bite. It's juicy. The juicy bun. <laughs> Man, that was just really, really good. Just all around, the tofurkey sausage. Yeah, it's hard to even like think. You know what I mean? Like think about each part separately because it's yeah, like there's really a lot going good. on. And if you had barbecue sauce, I guess it would be even more. <laughs> I guess. If you say so. Um, the bread is perfect. You know, it's got that like. It's not quite crisp. Mm -hmm. It's like dry enough where you get a bit of a play on the textures. Mm -hmm. And then like, I don't know if you can see it, but you know, it's all set and everything, but it's still like super moist on the inside mm -hmm. and then fades into the crustiness. Wow. It is super duper good. You know, you could be like a food reviewer. Get a Yelp. I'm a Yelper. That'd be a sweet job. Man. Getting right? paid to just eat food all day? Like, I would instantly go to 350 pounds. <laughs> like, hey, you already work at a candy store. So many people are like, well, if I worked there, I'd weigh that much. Well, I'm not really into sweets, though. So You're more into buns? Yeah. Max is more of a buns kind of guy. I'm a bun man.